Welcome back you guys. Thank you guys very much for checking out my next series here of Making the Custom. And this week we're beginning our new series showcasing my next couple customs in San Clown Posse. If you guys are unfamiliar, you'll remember these two from their work with the oddities in WWF during the early stages of the Attitude Era. But this time we're going for more of their WCW look during their time working with Muda and Vampiro as the Dark Carnival. We're gonna begin our work on these two with the painting of their heads. You've seen the parts I've chosen here in that small slide before this, and you can notice that they've got bare chests. That's only because I'm gonna be using a fabric jersey for both of them. Now, if you guys are familiar with some of my work, you guys will notice that painting is definitely my favorite part of this hobby, and I knew that painting these heads was gonna be quite the treat. I love working on things like face paint and masks and intricate paint jobs. And while these two didn't require very many different colors, they definitely required a lot of precision with the lines and things like that on their face paint. Now you guys are familiar with the way that I paint my heads. I'm going to start with the eyes, then I'm going to move on to the mouths. And again, I mix an ivory type of tone. It's a little bit of the lighter skin tone plus some white for the eyes and that's going to be especially important here as these two have white face paint if you guys just use a straight up white paint for their eyes they could look like they're kind of getting lost in the face paint here Once I wrapped up on the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and start to outline the lip area and the eyeballs with the white face paint. After that, I'm gonna move on to a more broad sort of detail brush, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the white for their face paint. Now, this is gonna require a few coats, you guys, just to make sure it's nice and full, and I'm not having any faded spots anywhere on their faces. Now you guys see me mixing a tone right here. That's just a little bit of white and some yellow. I'm just mixing the bleach look for Violent J's hair. And once I finish the bulk of his hair, I'm gonna move on to a smaller detail brush to paint the front and back of his hairline. I'm moving on here to paint the skin tone for Violent J. I'm just really painting his ears and the sides of his neck. Now, I didn't really need to be very precise with the sides of his hair because the skin tone is a little bit darker than the bleach tone that I mixed. 
And you guys will notice he usually wore his face paint all the way up to his hairline, which is why I'm not adding a little bit of skin tone clearance at the top of his face. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the teeth for Violent J here, you guys. Once again, I'm just touching them up with the ivory skin tone that we mixed for the eyes. Anytime I have a head sculpt that has an open mouth or it's smirking or smiling, showing teeth, I like to use the same ivory tone for the eyes as well as the teeth. I just feel like it looks a lot more natural than the stark bright white. And as we're wrapping these heads up with the black tone, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to painting those black symbols. And this one, I just kind of freestyled here. Typically to cut down on potential mistakes or anything like that, I'll go ahead and use my pencil just to make some lines or some markings to show where the lines of the face paint should be. And in this case, I just kind of went for it with my black detail brush. I think the most challenging part about painting face paint such as this one here or potentially a mask, maybe a lucha mask or anything like that, is getting the symmetry down just right. So I want to make sure I'm looking at the head from different angles, I'm flipping it over upside down. It might look ridiculous, but it's really going to help nail that symmetry that we're going for.
And if you guys are wondering what type of brushes that I'm using, this one here is a testers detail brush. I just get these at my local craft store and they've always worked really well for me. As far as the black handled brushes that you guys see in the background there, I just get those off of Amazon. I think it's a five pack or something like that for like 15 bucks. That is it for this week's episode. I'm gonna wrap this video up here, you guys. Once again, we've already got the heads knocked out for our customs, insane clown posse. These should be relatively easy as they're using the fabric jerseys. So in next week's episode, we're gonna go ahead and start to modify the bodies. I'm gonna be hand painting their tattoos and we should be able to wrap these guys up pretty quickly. As always, I wanted to thank you guys again for coming and checking out my series here on YouTube, Making the Custom. I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And if you are, please like the videos. Please comment, letting me know what you guys thought, what was your favorite part of the video, what you'd like to see next. And of course, if you guys have any questions regarding my work, please share these videos with a friend. It really helps me out. And as always, please subscribe here on YouTube and make sure to hit that notification bell, letting you know exactly when I drop some new content.